It's time for our Bulldog Conversation. Brad Radisi here with you, and I'm joined by a very special guest, Samford's Athletics Director, Martin Newton. And Martin, what a weekend. It's homecoming, but it's also an exciting time in Bulldog history as we introduce a new Samford Bulldog. It's going to be unbelievable, Brad. We've got uh, a lot of people will be back on campus from alumni to uh, to fans, to donors, to parents, and, and uh, I think our student athletes are, are really excited about the unveil of the new, the new uh, athletic marks, uh, as am I. I think it's going to be uh, fun the way we're going to do it. We've got some special surprises uh, in store, and uh, I just think what a way to celebrate 175 years. What can a, a new athletic mark do for a school? I know you have a, a background with Nike. This is something that, that is it's just bigger than a new bulldog, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. I mean, what it does is it starts setting the, the, the direction of who you want to be and, and where you want to go. Um, you know, we have a saying that respect the past but represent the future. And what this does is it, it ties all of those things together as we can look back on 175 years. And I think it's a 100th anniversary of the bulldog. Yes. Um, so it looks back on that 100th anniversary of the Bulldog as well, but really represents the future on, on what Sanford University and especially our athletics teams aspire to be. And it's not like we just flipped through a book of Bulldogs and said, hey, we like that one. <laughs> yeah. The company that worked with us, Dartlet, did an amazing job of blending who we are yeah. into that Bulldog, didn't they? Now, and you know, that's when we went through the process of choosing somebody to do this project. That, that was a big initiative, was not somebody who could just create a logo, because that's not what this is all about. It's, it's creating your identity and, and, and saying who you are and who you want to be and, and what, you, uh, what you believe in. And so um, I think the process that we went through with Dartlet and, and getting all the constituents on campus and in the community and around, uh, quite frankly, the Southeast to kind of tell us what is Sanford Bulldogs, who are the Sanford Bulldogs, and, and on our best day and on our worst day. and, and uh, uh, what they came up with, I think, really represents that. And now it's up to us to, to take that and, and make sure in our messaging that we do a great job of staying consistent with that and, and building our brand. Let's talk about the fall season so far. Boy, great seasons for volleyball, soccer completely dominating yeah. the SOCON there yeah. in the NCAA tournament, and football has looked great so far. you got to be ecstatic. Well, let's talk about soccer first and what those women accomplished and Coach Yelton accomplished. Uh, winning the regular season and then the conference tournament in the fashion that they did it in, really, you said it, domination is, is really quite remarkable in today's, uh, you know, there's so much parity and balance. And uh, uh, this is a group with seven seniors that just never gave up. Um, and they, the mindset, they're going to Tallahassee to, to beat Florida State and keep them from going to their sixth, excuse me, seventh straight Final Four. Uh, they want to be the spoiler. Then volleyball, Keeler has come in. Uh, and has really changed the culture and set the direction for our volleyball program. And they've had some ups and downs, but, you know, we had a big win last night. We're going to go into the conference tournament, which we host November 19th through the 22nd. Um, and, and they're going to have a chance to go in as possibly the number two seed. And you get into a tournament format and anything can happen. And then uh, Coach Hatcher and what this football team has done and his progress in only his second year uh, establishing the hatch attack you know, our losses have been to Mississippi State where we had chances to win that football game, uh, to then rank number three, Chattanooga, uh, and then a field goal hits the upright in overtime against six-ranked Citadel, and, you know, all of a sudden you win a couple of those games and you're probably in the top five or six in the country. We're still, uh, we're, we take care of business the next two weekends, starting this weekend. We've got a chance to, to be squarely in the midst of the playoffs, and I'll tell you, I wouldn't want to play us if we get into the playoffs. You are right about that. Folks, that's our Bulldog Conversation. Martin Newton joining us. More football action right after this.